Okay. <laughs> Somebody wanted to jump out of her skin. I was just saying, okay, she was, ah, okay, so you're safe. I uh, check your time, 10 minutes past the hour of two. It's called the Girls Chat Show. And uh, we talk about everything. You already know what this uh, show is about. And guess what we have? A uh, couple of faces on the show today. We'll be talking. This is more like an in-house deliberation. And guess what? It's, a, it's about tomorrow. I know that they've shifted elections uh, once. And then some people were meant to have a wedding on Saturday. Shifted to last Saturday. Some just to play safe. In fact, are you sure there will be many weddings tomorrow? Because some people were scared, ah, let's just move it to April. Since, uh, I mean, because of the elections. But I know some people will take the risk, get married tomorrow and all. So we're talking about weddings. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we have one gentleman in the studio. Uh, with us in the studio is a Mecca who's blessed amongst women. Good to have you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, DJ. Nice. Okay. Also in the studio, don't jump out of your seat. <laughs> we have Ini in the building. What's up? Okay. Okay. Good to have you in the studio. So anything food, you know, Ini. <laughs> I know some people can't wait for tomorrow or going to social media to check out the new dish in town. Also with us in the studio is a Grace. Grace, good to have you in the studio as well. Thank you, Jacob. Afternoon. So we're talking about uh, you know weddings, do's and don'ts. I would like to put it this way because it's relative. There are people who you would say don't do this in your wedding, and they would rather do that thing. So we'll talk about some of the experiences we've had. Uh, you know, going to weddings. My God, something just drops in my mind now. I hope we don't go there. But feel, please feel free to say whatever you'd like to say on the show. Now let's start off with you, Ini. Uh, what are those things you've noticed that uh, you go to weddings and you're like? This shouldn't be, this shouldn't happen. You feel this is a no-no for you, uh, you know, at a wedding. Well, for me, it's um, the attitude that pe the guests put to having to eat. <laughs> for me, I don't understand. you're going there to celebrate, okay. you know, the couple and, and people get so disappointed and discouraged when they don't get to eat. They will mm. just say, eh, they did not give me food, I will take my gifts back. <laughs> wow. People do that. You don't understand. Like, who take their gifts back? They think yeah. about like I, I not eat them. I'll take my gift back. Nothing pain me. Wow. My, not only my transport waste. Ah. No, it's not. It's really not fair. So, but have you ever seen anyone like at the wedding? Uh -huh. You saw their gifts going back home. I'm telling you, I know people who did that now. They'll you. come back home yeah. and they say like, Ah, do you know what happened? I go that wedding. I no see food. Job. I carry my gift. Come back. No, and if you good. open their gift, it's one glass of cup. It is still something. But the funny thing is, inside. the bride and the groom that you went to celebrate, mm -hmm. they do not know that you have not eaten. It's not like it's their fault. But Most it's their times, organization it's not. now. It's no. Not them even if the, you know, money is provided, mm -hmm. they kill five cows. They say in Nigeria, even if you kill 100 cows for just 100 people, mm -hmm. meat will still not be enough. <gasps> that so is so Nigeria. People the meat now. That is yeah. Nigeria. The corruption yeah. has gone to the <laughs> way. It has got into that. Ah, okay. So she's mentioned one. Let's move to praise before we move to uh mecca in the building so what is that thing you feel people you just uh, sweat yourself let me just go uh, home when you notice couples do and you feel nah this is too much you know couples some couples just stick to boring they borrow a whole lot to satisfy oh. people just okay. like Amy has said yeah that no matter what you do hmm. even if it's uh, you're as rich as rich. No matter what you do, there are still people that wouldn't get satisfied. So True. why go all the way to borrow money from people? For well, people borrow money people for weddings. People borrow money yes. for weddings. Yes. So for me, it's it's not necessary. Then Just what if? Make sure you arrange your budgets. Arrange your ceremony, your mm -hmm. celebration, everything you want to do within your budget. Must you just go out or uh, go out? Grace, the reason why some people go out, they'll tell you, is the women. Women are responsible. Guys go as far as borrowing because yeah, there's the my wedding. Th these days I go to so Instagram and hashtag Max Grace mm. or hashtag this. It has to trend. So people blame it on the ladies. Guys are not uh, you know about so weddings. Olivia, is the ladies men don't want to trend? Not like not as no, much not, as guys. Not, not, guys, that's what they yeah, say. Yeah. But we can argue that, of course. But so for you, the borrowing part is the problem. Yes. But they say you are the problem. You guys, you want. 
His you status. Want, yeah. There's this your best friend who got married to one. Mm. If you went to that way, so, not wow. to match up. You want to match up. Wow. But the man can still stand his ground as long as he's bringing him. If I tell you I don't have money, standing ground might just be me. eating more and more in the wedding. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Only just here. Uh, you say no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I got it to your pocket now. <laughs> <laughs> I got it to your pocket now. Uh, okay. Now you know when when I tell you I don't I I, I know men good yeah. men mm-hmm. that will tell you no I can't do this. Mm. And you insist, they'll keep telling you, I can't do this. The worst they will tell you is that I don't have the money to do that. Not that they don't mm. want to, because they know that. They've, they've looked at it. It's not even necessary. Why do you go? Some people fly as yes. as far as other towns yes. to do a pre wedding photo shoot yes. and come back to. Yes. Is it necessary? Kai. Not just, uh, um, not, just not, not, yeah. not sometimes it's not just um, the pressure from the lady. Okay. It also extends to family the members. The family. And it's really bad mm. that. Um, we find ourselves in a society where um, maybe parents, the parents of the bride, <laughs> want to match up with what uh, their other friends, family have done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they say, yeah, my friend, I've been going for uh, a lot of uh, my friend's wedding. Mm-hmm. Their weddings are like this. See this souvenir I like got. This. Mm-hmm. this one, this one. So my daughter's wedding must be. And Our you, mothers. You won't, you won't want to check Our or mothers. consider the fact that okay, for me, I feel it's not just about the luxury of. Um, what you have, like the finance, you yes. might be very, very comfortable. But yeah. I feel there are other things that you can do mm-hmm. with that money beyond, you know, that one day celebration. Yeah, but for celebration. you, Emeka, for you, yeah. what do you dislike when you go for weddings or when you hear people, you know, about to get married? And... Um, for me, I, I I get turned off when I discover that uh, uh, the couples that are getting <laughs> married <laughs> are probably, um, you know. Uh, they are they are they are living beyond their their their, their budget, okay. or they are living beyond, or they are spending beyond what they have. Mm-hmm. That's that that's bringing us to yeah. you, you, like yeah. I know you, mm-hmm. you're my friend. I know you. I know your your, <laughs> your level, your status. Okay. Then I now go to your wedding, and I'll see that you've done a lot of things that I know inside of me that you actually borrowed money, or those things are on credit, and at the end of the day. You, 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 you're done with your marriage, you're not living up to paying debts for a very long time. Hmm. And this is like, because you want to satisfy your wife or you want to satisfy your family wife, members. family, family, or anybody. Yeah. For me, I feel like this life is not about pleasing anybody. If the woman you so much love mm-hmm. doesn't want to understand with your financial status, mm-hmm. then she can as well just, you know, move away. Because for me, you can't make me do what is beyond my hmm. my, my, my bank account. Okay, so, at the end of the yeah. Day, you you make just and I can now. see. I have, have, woman, I have someone. Woman, we go. Hmm. Exactly. I've seen a lady <laughs> who actually cancelled a wedding. Her father decided, this is the, <laughs> this is where uh, you guys should get married. They gave it to me based on where he's working. They gave this hall to me. Let's use this place. And she insists the guy uh, pays for a particular place in town. He took to his heels. They didn't get married. And obviously, she, she isn't married. Of course, there are people you see in church and blah, blah, blah. He settled down. Three months later, he found somebody and they got settled. Yeah, and stuff. true. So there are ladies who actually, you know, and I don't, do guys pressurize ladies to glamorous weddings? It's right. No, no, no. It's right. It's, it's, you it's see? Quite so the honors is back to quite, the ladies. It's, yes. quite, it's, it's, quite, it's quite rare to find mm. a guy that will want to, you know, spend a lot of money. For for some guys, they like like I have a friend that actually when he wanted to get married, yeah, um, you know, he sat down with his wife and she drew up a lot of you know lists, mm-hmm. this one, this event, this other event, like that, like that. I she, she, uh, the the guy is actually from the north, so he was getting married to um, a northern girl, yeah, and there were like um, almost like four lineups of you know events mm-hmm. for just this marriage, and you know after the main wedding, there is a dinner, there is another. You know, you know the way the you know northern people do. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's mm-hmm. different from. Yeah. And the guy that asked her a question, he told her he wants her to have a car after a wedding, so she should choose between having that car ah. or doing this entire wow. event. Because if he spends his money on on this yeah. entire event, she would end up mm-hmm. using commercial. You yeah. Know, Jumping buses, yeah, basically. yeah, jumping buses. Yeah, and he told her, and she sat down. He told me, he was like, she sat down and she thought about it, and she said, she worth. wants the car. Uh-huh. That she, it's not she, worth. She, she cuts down the entire budget of yeah. the wedding because yeah. she wants to at least drive 
to anywhere she wants to go to mm. comfortable yeah. inside her own car. Yeah. And that was like an t- option for her. Mm. Now, a lot of people don't think beyond the marriage. What yes. happens beyond the marriage? Yes. What happens to your wife? Will you finish getting married, spend millions of naira, mm. and uh, you probably start jumping buses? Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so he's mentioned, you guys have mentioned almost everything, but let's go back to uh, Ine now, talking about uh, the food aspects. Uh, but have you ever been? I know while growing up, there, there are people who the upbringing is, once you're going for a wedding, just eat, fill up your tummy. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's, that was a way I was, no. fill up your tummy when you go to the wedding, they give you food, no, so you don't get angry or whatever. But have you ever been like upset because you went to a wedding and... You didn't find anything to eat. Um, yes, I've been to weddings that I didn't eat. Mm-hmm. You know, most times, in short, most of the weddings that I've been to, yeah. it does happen that... Take it away in one. Why did you say this? No, I would not Mind um, yourself. Not that. Yeah. Okay, um, most times, it does happen that way, but I really do not want to hold it against them because mm. the bride and the groom, they know nothing about what's going on. Yeah. They must have provided everything, but... You know, politics of family members, you just come in and you just see family members directing the servers, mm-hmm. go here. No, 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 yeah, go to that go side. There, yes. No, no, don't go yes. there. I said, come here, listen to yes. me. You know, it's, <laughs> you see the drama, you just get like, mm. kill a lay. I can eat this food in my yeah. house. Yeah. Most times, once I just do, once I go through that, I just go to a restaurant and I buy that same food I saw there. Mm. So that I will know that my body has calmed down. So why do people get upset? Like why do they get not, upset? You know, I really do not is want it to take that is it, is it the hunger? Why do people actually there are people who go hungry? They go with yeah. empty just you know? so they can, you know. Oh, EJ, you know what? Yeah. Growing up, mm-hmm. this one that you're saying, people eat, yeah. and you know, so fill they don't get their tummy. Yes. Yeah, fill up their tummy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's. I think it comes with the twenty first century. Growing okay. up as a child, yeah. you would rather starve to go for a wedding. Yes, yeah. because once you eat wedding in, in, in rice, that, yeah. Lagos, uh-uh. in Lagos, party yeah. rice. Growing up, you would hey. rather starve to go eat party rice. Especially your Yoruba party. You don't even want to take a risk wow. to fill up your tummy because when you go there, what you will see? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so your eyes be saging. Okay. So, but now you know with, with so much civilization True. or modernization True. or what what you call it people yeah. now tend to do a lot of uh, i have my own guest mm-hmm. you know it's this i have my own guest kind of yeah. thing yeah. serve those people serve yeah. those people don't serve these people finish with this that brings about all this now with time people mm-hmm. now started having this mindset of I, I i would rather fill up my tummy yeah than because, go hungry yes you know? so that's what is bringing up all these things but come to think of it mm. why do people even get angry if they don't eat? that's the question i ask is it not to to witness the joy no 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 olijay olijay let me let me come in here I, I, want, I want to say something about what she just said. Yeah. Why do people get angry mm-hmm. when they don't eat? Yes. It's quite, quite... Quite, know, quite what? Uh, it's, it's, it's quite embarrassing <laughs> for you to actually be in an environment where um, there is refreshment. Okay, okay. So yes. I get the embarrassment no, 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 no. part. The, embarrassment the food is jumping your head and you're not saying, is it like, like by nobody? No, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, okay. it's, it's really not. Most of the time, it's, it's, it's a different thing if you go for a wedding and there's no rice. And you know everybody go home, no food. <laughs> but when you are in a wedding, and you maybe somebody you the yeah. next table. I've been in, like the next table. Things were going Why there. Things juice. were going there. <laughs> Why as in wines, rice, and everything. Why? And you are just there like you are an outcast. Like, so, but why do you transfer the aggression to the couple when they actually? No, the point is, not, yeah. the point here is, you see, the genesis of this whole issue um, boils down to planning. Planning, yeah, planning is like. The bedrock of this whole thing. But I mean, now, some people times, plan for the, uh, you know, friends and all to get food, but somehow. To to a very large extent, so let me say. To a very large extent, I've been, I've been. You can't get it hundred percent. Even when you employ um, a professional event planner, Chefs there are and, always, oh, yeah. you know, tendencies that there will be loopholes. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel when you are having such kind of events mm. and um, you have an idea of the guest you're having. There's a calculation because most of the times what affects our events mm-hmm. in Nigeria or the Nigerian society is we just prepare for an event that we don't have an idea of people that will come. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, when 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 you are not, there is nothing, there's no calculation. Huh. You are inviting no 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 estimate. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you probably employ um an event planner that's you know preparing for one thousand guests. What? And at the end of the day, you have over one thousand guests. 
You do it's a side sale wedding. Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, it's okay, a big wedding, yeah. you know, a big wedding like that. So the point here is, most of the time, when 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 you don't plan it in such a way that okay, there's an event planner, mm -hmm. um, there's a rough estimate probably from my wife's side. We're expecting 300 people. Yeah. From my own side, we're expecting 200 people. Mm -hmm. So by and large, let's say 700 people. So cut out for 700 people. Now, a, a very good caterer okay. knows that, okay, she's she's preparing food for 700, but she has 500. Okay, coming. so the, the, the thing you're saying here is couple, where it rubs off on them is they don't have an estimated number of people who would oh, attend. Yes. Yes. Now, you know when you're, uh, you invite 100 people, this one invites, this one invites, this one invites. No, well, so well, it's more like... Yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's not the extra. You know, the extra, that's why I said if you okay. invite, for instance, you have 500, mm -hmm. you shouldn't prepare exactly 500 because... Yeah. You know, Nigerians always like working with their friends. Mm. So they're going for a wedding, you tag along with somebody. Okay. So you put that extra in it. So when everything comes out that way, mm. you know, you find out that <coughs> to a very large extent, mm. it's the responsibility of the caterer yeah. to make sure that everybody eats. And when the caterer knows what she's doing, yeah. she will make sure that everybody in that place gets food to eat. Okay. Then the other part where issues start coming is when you have... Um, You've employed the caterer quite right, mm -hmm. then you now allow interference from family members. That's like but where we what, what do you mean that you allow? You are, allow. You are sitting you on are the sitting there, you don't now, know you now, control now, it. Now, now, mm -hmm. you, everything that happens, like I've seen weddings where the family members are not allowed to even go close, go close to Sit where yeah, you are. You're not being real. No, 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 no to I'm be real, let's say we are in Africa. No, it's not even about Africa. Africa. It's well, it depends on your mother. Your Nigeria. mother says. Well, it depends no. on your family. Your mother will just curse no. you. No, no, no. It's not a matter of your mother will curse you. Your mom, <laughs> your, mom life, your mom, your mom, your mom wants to entertain anybody. Uh -huh. She prepares her own. Um, food and whatsoever. Uh, like, no, 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 what, what I'm saying, no, no, wait, wait. There are actually wait. mothers who do that. There are mothers yes. who do mothers that. They have mothers. their own plan B. Yes, yes. You understand? I've seen weddings like that. There are mothers that have their own plan B mm -hmm. because one, they feel probably the caterer might not um, cut up for our Mate, guests. Uh, please, wants. so Grace and Ine, do you see the way America is saying this thing with passion? No, mind. With so much zest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like, America is already I look forward because, to your wedding. No, no, no. What I'm America saying is, for your wedding. whenever you allow family members yeah. to interfere with the business of a caterer that mm -hmm. you employ, mm -hmm. there are, there, there, there's a heightened tendency of I agree. Wrong. I, agree. No I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You would pay a caterer mm -hmm. to cook for, say, 500 people. Yeah. Your mom will cook for her own guests, yeah. 200 people. Mm -hmm. And she will still leave her own food. And still come and there. Give it Especially, to the yes. America, yes. Nigeria. And the mother, yeah. do you know if it's, and you know, just to save the embarrassment and people turning heads and you know, all, you just let her You let her be. But, but this whole thing also boils down to um, attitude. Like, attitude, like, human attitude okay like i don't know um the son of my mom but my mom should also behave like <laughs> okay you know? they give her that warning before the wedding yeah. that's, that's the thing before the wedding. if you do not want your family yes. members if i don't want the kind of mom that i have if i don't want the kind of mom that i have my mom should also behave because you know it's not nice for yeah. for us to have all these um okay we have a message here a hungry man is an angry man but your own food and uh, okay, buy your own food and go to a wedding and see if one will be angry. In fact, you will just be <laughs> laughing. I agree with him 100% from Unique in Cairo. He sends that one in, so I should buy my food. I'm yes, going for so. a wedding. I will now buy my food. Even if I buy my food, food and go for the wedding, eh? the mere sight of this? food passing <laughs> you and not coming to it's me annoying. is annoying. Okay, yes, let's go to the ladies now. Let's talk about things uh, you know that. I, I'm, Thank God you mentioned a number of people. Do you, how many, I know it depends on your pocket, but how much is too much for a wedding? How much number would you say is too much for? Not, we are not talking about the senator's daughter, governor's daughter, just a normal chick who wants to, yes. No, I would say it varies. It depends on you, your clique, mm -hmm. you know, your friend's base. Yeah. If, if you... If you're someone you have so many friends and you you have a lot of contacts you do a lot of businesses you will have people attached what kinds to of people attached. will you know invite to your wedding what kind of people like yes. you invite mm -hmm. there are people who say and hey, this over here but i won't invite these set of people to my wedding you don't have any okay for me i would say that for my wedding i didn't invite my 
internet savvy friends because okay. I didn't want them to snap pictures and put them online. Okay. So I brought the really conservative mm. ones and I said I don't want any pictures online, so just have it this way. Okay. And that was it. That was it. I actually had a friend who at her place of work she didn't invite any of the colleagues <laughs> to her wedding. A banker, like no 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 and then after the wedding they were like see pictures, B you took us in, you didn't even invite anyone. He said she was like, no, she had her reasons. They were like, no, but it seemed like a wedding you could take care of. How many people in this yeah, organization yeah. you couldn't? So, but that's to her, that's her business and that's why. But for you, Grace, how much is too much? Well, I would say you can't put a price to a wedding. I can't put a price to a wedding okay. because... The number of people now. Number okay, of number of people. Yes. Is. I think 150. For me, 150 is okay. fine. But you know, with family and friends, mm. <laughs> somebody I was telling somebody I was just I was telling someone that my wedding will be like uh, 70 to 100. The person did not. I the person just ignored me completely because the person did not see anything yeah, to argue about possible. because you're just sounding foolish. Yeah. One, your family alone. Yes. You, you, you. Even the, the alone. church alone. Mm. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, now uh, before I move to Emeka, I'd like the ladies to say some things before Emeka will react. Now, uh, this is where the men defend the other men because you're standing for many other guys out there. Uh, so let's go to the ladies. But before we do that, though, we have a message here uh, for me. If you invite 100, expect 450 people. It's hard to predict the number of people unique from Cairo. I agree with you. Uh, remember, you can join the conversation. Call the studio line 070 1057 0088. That is the number to call. Or 070 1057 0909. Call us up and uh, tell us, uh, you know, your do's and don'ts or some of your experiences uh, you've had going to people's wedding. Uh, I mentioned something earlier. Grace said, ah, moi, moi. So what if that is what a man can, you know, do when it has to do with you? God forbid, I know. But what if his pocket isn't, you know, that bulky or, you know, mm -hmm. fresh enough to mm -hmm. accommodate what you want? Would you go with the flow? Yeah. Moi, moi is not a bad deal, you know. Yeah, but how no, about he says, okay, sachet water, just, it's as bad as that. <laughs> would you rather push the wedding? Well, I would rather make it smaller. Okay. I would rather I need something small and beautiful. I wouldn't like. I would like it to be beautiful. So I would rather just tell the person, can we just do one indoor, one mm -hmm. canopy kind of wedding? Mm -hmm. I don't know if my mom will accept it, but she has her own people to take care of. But mm -hmm. I say to myself, yeah, this is what I can. Handle. But what do you say? You tell your mama it's just this in just small people. You should. Can that man take care of you when you get married? <laughs> she say he will kill you. <laughs> will he be able just pure water for hundred people? <laughs> <laughs> will he and you say okay, cannot be just a few people? Are you sure parents will agree with that? Because their concern usually is, I want to be yeah, sure he can take care of my daughter. So, but sometimes big weddings don't even determine what a man can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you never can tell. Okay, we have goodness from Maraba here. Hello, goodness. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, goodness. Thank you, this is Janet, calling from Masaka. Uh oh, Janet, good to have you talk to us. Thank you very much. Uh, listen to the program. You know what? Mm -hmm. This program you are just talking about mm -hmm. happened to me exactly. Okay. I was in a wedding. You know, I participated very well in that wedding. Uh -uh, I was serving. Oh, doing a lot of things. And at the end of the day, I could not even eat anything. Eat. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's pathetic. <laughs> uh, I was serving the two families and the other congregation, and at the end, I could not even eat anything. You're, you're mm. people after wow. you. 